The first of two special concerts by South Korean artists visiting Pyongyang wrapped up. Among the guests were the regime's leader and his wife. Kim Jong-un reportedly enjoyed it so much he suggested holding another one in autumn. Oh Jung-hee zooms in on the response to the first such show across the border in this decade. For the first time in 13 years, Sunday night, a group of South Korean musicians put on a concert in Pyongyang, dazzling an audience that included North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Kim was accompanied by a few well-known faces. His wife, Lee seol Ju, his sister, Kim Yo-jung, who visited South Korea in February for the Winter Olympics, and Hyun song War, who led the North Korean delegation in talks to set up the show. It started at around 6.20 p.m. North Korea time, that's 6.50 p.m. in the South, and lasted for over two hours. It was called Spring is Coming and featured 11 South Korean artists, including Cho Yong-pil, Lee Sun-hee, the idol group Red Velvet, and So Hyun of Girls' Generation. I hope this concert gives us a chance to truly feel that we are one. The South Koreans sang to a full house, 1,500 seats, songs representing the fact of the two Koreas' division. They ended with two numbers called Our Hope is Reunification and Until We Meet Again. When we South Korean artists all sang together, the North Koreans sang along with us. That made me feel that we are one people. It was touching, and that's why I teared up. As he watched, Kim Jong-un reportedly said there should be more cultural and art performances put on by Seoul and Pyongyang. He also suggested holding another concert in the autumn, this time in Seoul, which would signify that the two Koreas are seeing fruitful results from their diplomatic push. Kim's attendance was a surprise to many, but there were clues that it might happen as the start time was changed twice on the day of the concert. His original plan reportedly was to attend on Tuesday a joint performance by both South and North Korean artists, but he had scheduled conflicts. But his sudden appearance, which naturally came with strict security, prevented most of the South Korean journalists from covering the concert. Kim entered the concert hall when the South Korean press were outside, and without notifying the reporters, the performance began right away. Only one cameraman stayed inside throughout the performance, while the rest had to watch it on a television in a nearby room. Afterwards, the North Korean side apologized, explaining that their exclusion wasn't intentional, but the result of a lack of communication. The South Korean artists will hold a joint performance with their North Korean counterparts on Tuesday afternoon before returning to Seoul. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.